Guys, the chicken is here. We're back today with another home gym video. In today's video, guys, we just finished up the challenge against the Kurt Locker. And a little bit disappointed. A little bit disappointed because I, I felt like, um, if you guys watched, I posted a, a clip of it on my Instagram. You can just go there. It's just at the chicken home gym. Um, man, I felt like I had 495, 500 in the bag. Got it about halfway and just, I don't know, it just wasn't there. Uh, I felt like if I just took my time a little bit more and, um, you know, maybe had some music or something, then it would have been better. But this is the excuses video. So I want to talk about um, my training the, the last little bit and, uh, you know, what I've been doing um, leading up to this. So um, I did not peak for this at all. My heaviest deadlift um, two weeks ago coming into this was 455 and i did that once over the last six months and that was off program the way i've been training is i've been trying to uh improve my form improve my body and improve my like general health um that's been kind of the the primary focus of what i've been doing um so to just kind of throw this out there and do it you know randomly without really training for it now the last week i did kind of a, a mini peak i guess and it's not like you know i'm lifting 800 pounds so it's not like i need to peak for like 12 weeks but it, it definitely does you know, make a difference. Um, so yeah, the last week I just kind of took it easy, took it light. But, um, the biggest thing that I didn't tell anybody about <clears throat> until after, because I don't want to come into a competition with excuses like, uh, Flanders did. I, I feel like that just kind of looks bad. It's like, Oh, you know, you know, everyone's got, you know, problems and everyone's banged up and you know, everyone's got life stress. So I didn't want to come into it saying like, Oh, like this hurts, that hurts, this sucks. And you know, I, I had to work late and, um, all that but now I'll, I'll tell you guys so two weeks ago um <clears throat> it was like a few days after the the date was announced and stuff um I, f <laughs> I was going to work at the boarding and i fell down the stairs and it was like you know typically i i feel like i'm getting older or something because typically whenever i you know fall i just get right back up i'm like ow that hurt for a second but this time i was like on the ground for like three minutes it's like oh jesus christ <laughs> like i fell all the way down the stairs and um I did something to my knee. Like I couldn't walk on my knee for like two days. Um, I was kind of hobbling around. I made an appointment to get it checked out, which still isn't for like two weeks because doctors um, are kind of dumb. But um, yeah, so there was that. And it was actually the first time I squatted with a barbell was the night before uh, we did the deadlift. So I hadn't done anything really. Um, I had one good deadlift session before this. And then it was a few days later after that I fell and uh, I missed that night's uh, leg day. And then the, the following week, like, you know, I just did some some light stuff. So I was happy, you know, just that it wasn't actually an injury. It feels fine now, to be honest. It doesn't really affect the deadlift that much, but it just kind of prevented me from training uh, a little bit more for it. Um, and yeah, you know, 495, which would have been an all-time PR, first time hitting five plates. It was right there. I got it literally right to my knees. And... Uh, yeah, just came off a little bit slow off the floor and then that kind of just rounded me over too much and just couldn't make the most of it. But it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. You know, I love uh, talking smack and calling the guy Flanders and make fun of him a little bit. He is a good sport. And, uh, you know, I felt like it was going to be a good challenge because uh, I didn't know what his all time PRs were um, until after I challenged him, which was funny because um, <clears throat> I saw him lifting and stuff. And, you know, he was he was deadlifting like, uh, you know. I think the most I saw him do on his Instagram for just from a quick search was like four plates. So I was like, okay, you know, it'll be, it'll be a fair go. Um, but yeah, and then I found out after his best was like 550 and I was like, okay, that's like, you know, 70 pounds plus, uh, my best, which, you know, my best was like a couple of years ago. Um, so yeah, I think I did have an all time PR today. If I had just gone for, <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me if i had gone for um 490 i think that was there i tried to do it after but back was a little bit tight um but uh yeah overall it was fun you know i don't think we got a huge turnout you know most of you probably don't know what i'm talking about if you just kind of stumbled onto this video um but yeah it was a lot of fun and uh i, I want to do more stuff like this when i made kind of the, that promo video where i was like big things to come and you know all this um basically what i was thinking was to do this kind of regularly with other uh, home gym YouTubers, influencers, whatever. Um, it's just a fun way. And I think it's, uh, you know, obviously the first one was a little bit rough, but I think the more we do it, 
and the better we get at it and we can put on like a little bit of a show. I think it's just good entertainment for um, the home gym community. And it's just, you know, it's, it's fun. It's something to talk about. It's something to train for, which is the biggest thing. You know, we can always go out and do powerlifting competitions, but um, you know, that takes up a whole day. This we can just do online, you know, right in our own home gyms. Whether it's a head-to-head -head thing or we make a tournament out of it or, you know, whatever. We could do competitions. I know they do some online powerlifting stuff like that too. But, um, yeah, I just thought it would be fun. Just thought it would be fun. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the comp recap. <clears throat> Not bad for uh, knowing about it for <laughs> a couple of weeks. And I know uh, Flanders, uh, you know, he's training for something, like, completely different and hasn't even been doing powerlifting. So, it's definitely a good show by him. So, shout out to him. Shout out to Jake from uh, Garage Gym Experiment. And shout out to you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any other ideas or things like this, challenges and stuff that you want to see in the future, let me know in the comments. I'm open to whatever. Um, we're going to get back to focusing on, there's a lot of new equipment that just came out. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. I got some new stuff coming in. We're going to talk about that too, of course. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, as always, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.